Good afternoon, Chair. Uh, everyone, please turn your camera on. Okay, okay. so shall we start now? So lastly, we have finished uh, this project one, right? So uh, we have, yes, yes. Yes, okay. So we have to continue this um, fiction part, which is on page number 116. Autobiography. So what does that mean? What is autobiography? What is that? Uh, a writing about another person. Writing about another person or writing about ourselves? About other people. About other people, it's kind of a biography, right? But for autobiography, you just write about yourself. So that is autobiography, right? So there is a difference between biography and autobiography. Autobiography means that person write about them by themselves. So that is autobiography, okay? Okay, so <clears throat> Soila Benjamin is an actress, author, television presenter, singer, businesswoman, and politician at the same time. So she, she has so many job titles, right? So we can guess she is kind of a really brilliant person, right? Because she has so many job titles, even the politician. Okay, so we'll move to number one question. What do you know about Trini Depp? So what is that Trini Depp? Have you ever heard about that? Have you ever heard about Trini Depp? No? No, okay. So it's a, it's a place, right, in the Caribbean. So that may be the name of the country or that may be the name of the, the town or city maybe, right? Okay, so we'll move to number two. Read the extra from chapter one of Soila uh, Benjamin's autobiography, Coming to England. So that is the name of the book. So in the book, she is describing the family home in Trinidad in the Caribbean. Do you think she and John living there? So you have to read this extra and then you have to answer this question, whether she is happy living there or not. Okay? You can use your dictionary while reading this.
So have you finished reading the extract? Not yet, okay. So have you finished? So how do you think? Do you enjoy living there or not? She does. Yeah, she, she does, does enjoy. She yeah. does enjoy living there, yes. Because she writes from only the positive point of view about this that way, right? So we can say she enjoys living there, yes. So we'll move to number three. The author uses the following strong adjective. Match them with their meaning. So we'll match them with their meaning first, and after that, we'll discuss about strong adjectives. Okay, so match first. So have you finished? Yes. Okay. So what is the meaning of dazzling? Very bright. Yes, very bright. Very bright. How about brilliant? Very bright. Yes, very bright. You can use uh, very bright twice, right? So we'll match one and two with very bright. So how about glorious? Very delicate, very fine. Very delicate. Uh, very delicate. Very fine. 
very delicate, very fine, or very beautiful, making you be happy. Very beautiful, making you feel very happy. Yes, for number three, you have the method, let me see, right? So how about exercise? Very delicate, very fine. Yes, the time, very delicate, very fine, correct. How about file? Very bad. bad. Very bad. Yes, correct. Okay, so when we are talking about strong adjectives, so what are strong adjectives? Here it means that strong adjectives have the idea of very in them, so you don't use very before them. So as they have, they already have a sense of very, we don't need to use them with very. For example, like if you want to say very bad, something very bad, you can say it is vile. That's why we cannot use very vile. So these are strong adjectives, right? So apart from these words, is there any other strong adjective that you know? For example, I want to say that is very big. So I don't want to use very and big. So how can we say? Huge or large, 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 humongous, large or huge, huge, massive, large, massive, massive. enormous, enormous, yes, humongous. Right? Huh? What is that, Daniel? Uh, humongous. Uh, I don't know. Actually, hmm. I don't know that word. So, can you type here in the chat? Ah, hum uh, humor humorous, right? Uh, okay, so it's a very big, humor. right? Yeah, humongous. So how about, um, I want to say it is very small. How can we use tiny. without very? Tiny. Huh? tiny. Tiny, yes, tiny. Oh. How about like Little. Under? Little. Little. Middle? I mean little. L N T D O little. Oh, yeah. okay, little. <laughs> that we can use little with very, right? It's very little, it's very small, but for tiny, we don't need any very, right? Right? So it is tiny. We don't need to say it is very tiny because tiny has sense of like very very, very little, very small, right? So how about uh, I'm very tired? How can we say without using very? Exhausted. Yes, exhausted. exhausted. How about I'm very cold here? Pardon? I'm cold. Freezing. 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 Very? Yes, I'm freezing. So we don't need to use I am very freezing. Freezing is enough because shivering. it is strong as about, color, right? Freezing, yes. What about, How about shivering? Huh? Shivering. Uh shivering is it has another has sense of another meaning. They are not definitely the same. Shivering I said don't you know. Uh, shivering I tell you don't want to tell you don't want to tell you. So what I'm talking about is very cold, so it is freezing, right? So how about how about I'm very hot? I'm I'm really hot here. So what is the opposite of freezing? Boiling. Boiling, yes. <laughs> I'm boiling here, so it means very hot, right? So boiling is strong adjective. So is there any other strong adjective that you know? How about hungry? Burn. Hmm? Burning. Burning. Uh, it is burning here. So it, it means you mean it's very hot. It's like burning here, like that. Okay, yes, we can use like that. So how about I'm hungry? I'm very hungry. Starving. 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 Yes, I'm starving. It's I'm very hungry, like that, right? So starving is a strong adjective. Uh, how about very clean? This this room is very clean. Spotless. Yes, spotless. We can use spotless, right? So that is the strong adjective of very uh, clean. Yes. So how about um I'm sad. I'm very sad. I think that. Depressed. <laughs> depressed is another meaning, right? I'm feeling so depressed by that. Right? So, okay, uh, for, for... Emo. <laughs> Emo. Uh, I said broken heart. Broken. <laughs> You 
guys go too far, okay? Miserable is okay. Unhappy. Right? Um, Unhappy. Uh, we can say I'm sorry and happy, right? Emo, emo. Say for that I don't even know the word. It comes from emotional, so like emotional. someone is really emo, so like like really sensitive to everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm very emotional, right? But I'm very emotional and very, I'm very sad. It's, it's a little bit different from each other, right? So for I'm very sad, you can use I am miserable. So that is very sad. So you got the idea of strong adjectives, right? You don't need to use them with very because it already has a sense of very. So got it? Yes, sure. Okay, then we'll move to number four. The author uses compound adjectives and two or more adjectives together to intensify the description. So look at the A more and find five more in the text. So, so for example, like brilliant white. So they are adjective, adjective, right? Brilliant white, but they are actually a compound now to show the color, right? In detail, so brilliant white curtain, comfortable wooden chair. So it is like uh, two adjectives has been used together, right? So to, to give more detail about that thing. So uh, just like that, you have to find five more pairs in the text, okay? So try to find it, and after that, we'll discuss together, okay? Uh, I'm gone yet. Are you there? Um, Chair, did I miss anything? Oh, uh, James, what did you say? Um, did I miss anything? Because the light went out here. Ah, uh, okay. So we are doing number four now.
So did you find the five more pairs in the test? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes, so what? Sir. Give me the first one. Small wooden building. Small wooden building, yes. Uh, dazzling dazzling whitewash white white wall. Dazzling whitewash wall, yes. Large glasses logo. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, six on the, the line six. Line six. Line six. Large Large glasses over window. Yeah. yeah Large glasses over actually three words, right? Large glasses over window and glorious fresh flowers. And can you give me one more? Uh, Crips white lace hairs. Crips white lace hairs. Exquisite butterflies. Line them up with which um seventeen. Um, exotic fruit oh, yeah. flowers and shrubs. Crisp yeah. white leaves, right? Um, line twenty one and two, twenty one twenty two. Sweet exotic sweet smelling flowers. Uh, okay, full of exotic sweet smelling Is flowers. It? Yes. Small friend garden. And small friend garden. Small. What is that? Uh, line twenty two. Line 22, 1, 2, 22. Those are 20. Uh, 20, uh, 20. 20. Uh, you mean small friend garden. Uh, okay, small friend garden. It's going to be beautiful flame red. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful flame, flame red. His business. And? A tall plushy tree. Tall plushy tree. 26. Uh, I did more than more than five, right? I'm um, also large liquid. Hmm? Huh? Wow, tasting liquid. Okay, file tasting liquid. Actually, okay, file tasting. It's only one word, right? Yeah, That's only one word. File tasting, yeah, it's one word. Um, so also and thirty-seven large animal bubbles. Yes. Thirty-seven large. Okay, large animal, animal basket. Big wooden tap. Big wooden tap. Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah, right. So we got more than five, right? Five pairs. Correct. Right. So you can use the five this to give the detailed description about something. So you can also use in your writing, okay? Okay, so as we have finished number, mm, number four, right? So we'll move to number five now. Read the address again and then answer the question. So you have to read this again and you have to answer these uh, questions, four questions. And after that, we'll discuss together.
So have you finished answering the questions? Everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. So you want to go. So it is Sancho. Can you give me the answer for number one? What impression do you get of the climate in Trinidad? How do you think of their climate? Uh I think it's a bit sunny and uh, not a bad weather like a normal and stable one uh, because the water in the on your back, backyard or something it's uh, always hot so i think it's sunny it's and then uh i think it would uh it rains a bit there because like the crops and the garden uh, the plants in the garden they're growing so well yes sir for a uh, enough amount of rain Mm -hmm. So we can say their climate is tropical climate, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So the weather is quite hot and there is also rain. So we can say their climate is a tropical climate, right? Okay. So how about number two? Yes, sir. So what what are, what is your answer for number two? What impression do you get of uh, Floella's mother mommy? So how do you think of her? How do you think about her? I have a really big interest. I think she's nice. Take care of the she can take care of the house very well. And also I think she's kind of strict because like they said no one was allowed except on special occasions. So like if uh, if she wasn't that strict, they like they can you know they are they won't be afraid of her. So you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So you, you mean that she's kind of straight, right? Yeah. And she's also a good housewife? Yeah. She's uh, and? in a bad way, you know. Uh, okay. So is there any other thing that you want to put uh, besides maybe the answer, everyone? Is there any, any other character or personality that you want to add? No? Uh, she, she is a person that uh, I think I love to work on, on a home garden with many plants. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we can also guess she is good at gardening, right? And we can also say that she is also good at decorating her house, right? Can we yes. say like that? Yes, yes. Yeah. So because she decorated her house very well, right? And it has also described in detail. So that, that is why we can say that. She is really good at, or she's really interested in gardening and decorating her house. And at the same time, you can say she is a good housewife and she's also kind of strict or maybe systematic mother, right? So is there anything that you want to add, everyone? No. No, okay. So that, that is the answer for number three. Okay, so Daniel, can you tell me the answer for number three? What do you learn about the family, household chores and daily life? Uh, uh, the siblings have to uh, I say polish the furniture every day before they go to school and like they have to do it like literally every day. Yeah. So you mean they have to share their household chores, even the children, right? Yes. Yeah. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? A good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing, right? So they have so, to. So share the uh, yeah? so the mother don't have to be, I say uh, stressed with the. Uh, Household works. Yes. So she is not the only one who has to do the household works, right? So everyone in the family has to share the work, right? And it, uh, even the children. So how about their everyday life? Is that quite simple, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, how about um, James? Can you tell me the answer for number four? What do you the details about plants and nature tell you about the place. So after I read the, this experience, how will you describe that place? James, are you thinking or sleeping? It, it says like there are a lot of flowers around and a lot of bushy trees. So I think the environment around there will be like I don't know, quite green, I say. Quite? Like quite bushy, I think so. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, quite busy. So that's all you think of their neighborhood, right? Is that all? James? James, is that all about your answer? Yeah, I think it will be quite nice around there. Uh -huh, okay. So, uh, so anyway, how do you think of number four? Um, I feel like the place is very quiet and peaceful because it says yeah. there's a lot of plants that they grew themselves and also like tall trees and stuff. So I think it's like that. Uh, yes, so you also have the same idea with me. So I'll read the very detailed description about the uh, house and the garden. You can see kind of like quiet and peaceful, right? Yeah. But same uh, see different things. He said it's kind of like bushy, right? <laughs> okay, so whatever. So we can uh, can be quiet and um, peaceful, right? After reading the description of the whole house. Okay, so everyone, have you got all the answers for number five? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we'll now move to number six. What in groups and you're going to amazing and then describe a house. Okay, so, so this time it's a group one. So I will divide you guys in a group and you, all you have to do is you have to imagine the house, a beautiful house, the sort of house you would like, like to live in. So you guys have to discuss together and you guys have to uh, write together about the description of a beautiful house that you guys want to live in. Okay, after that we will share. Okay, so is that okay? Yes. Yes, true. Yeah, just a small dis description, right? Not small description. You have to give a detailed description just like her. Oh my. Okay. So that is why I assign you. I will assign you guys in a group. Okay. That is why it's a group one, not a oh, okay. So I'll give you guys 20 minutes, so it will be enough, right? Yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff.
Over. It's over, yes, okay. <laughs> oh. Recording in nuts. Oh, nuts. Hello. So everyone, have you finished? Yes, we have. Uh, yes. Actually, you have to present uh, for your group, but uh, there is a heavy weight from my side. So you have to keep that notes and we will do the presentation tomorrow. So is that okay? Uh-oh. Okay. Good job.
Okay. Can you hear now? We will do the presentation tomorrow. Okay. 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 So we will do the exercises, and I think we have finished number seven, right? So we will do number eight, which is uh, report the statement. Yes. Yeah, so we don't need to present. Uh, Yolanda, actually, I can't hear anything from you. So if you want to tell me something, you can type in the chat, okay? Sorry about that. It's really a heavy rain here. Everyone, have you finished number eight? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. I heard yes. Um, yeah. Okay, so for, what is the answer for number two? I have got a flute with my pocket money. So she said? She, she said that she had bought a flute with his her pocket money. Yes, yeah, so she said she, she said that she had Bought, right, she has bought a flu with her pocket money. Yes, correct. So, how about number three? I'm gonna pay at the weekend. So, he said, He said that he had made a cake that weekend. Yes, he said that he had made a cake at the weekend. Yes, correct. So, how about four? I saw a really good film on TV. So, she said that she she had seen a really good film. She had seen a really good film on TV. Yes, she has seen a really good film on TV. Correct. So how about five? I haven't had time to spread this together. So he said. He said he hadn't have time to spread this together. Yes, he hadn't had time to spread this together. And let's say I didn't do very well in the exam. So she said that. She said that she hadn't done very well in that exam. Yes, she hadn't done very well in the exam, right? So everyone, have you got all the answers for the math eight? Yes, sir. Yes. Got it? Okay. Okay, so we have finished all about unit 14. So is there any question for unit 14? No. No, no. question, okay. So we'll move to what book? So what book, page number 82, unit 14. So number one, treasure possession, read what the people in column A say, 
what did they go on to say? Find the answers in column B. So you have to match the conversation from column A and the conversation from column B. So you have to match, okay? So after that, we'll check together. Finish number one. Everyone, have you finished number one? Uh, yes, teacher. Really? Can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can. Okay. So, what is the answer for number one? It's number I. It's number I. I have read it over and over again, correct? So it's I, right? So how about number two? My most uh, prized possession is my one duration poster. So the answer for number two is? E. E. It's E. Yes, it was signed by all the members of the band, correct? So how about three? One of my favorite thing is a jigsaw puzzle which my grandma gave me. D. E. It's D, yes. It was given to her by her grandma, so it's really old, correct? So how about number four? I really treasure my ticket for the concert to raise money for people who lost their home in the tsunami last year. So? H. H. It's H, right? Yes. That is the best day of my life, and I knew I was doing something for people who needed help, correct? So how about number five? All my sports and dance trophies are special to me. J. A. Yes. J. J, yes. When I look at them, I remember how hard I worked to win them, correct. So how about six? I would say my photo of my whole family is my most treasured possession. G. It's G, yes. Some of the people in its 
are not around anymore, and that is why it is important to me to learn. My most prized possession is my silver necklace. B. Yes, I wear it all the time, and I have had it since I was born. I love my jewelry box too. I love cats. A. A. It's A. They ran out to meet with me when I come from school. Yes, correct. How about nine? My most treasured possession is my old teddy bear. C. Yes, I have had him since I was a baby, and he's called Teddy. He is stuffy, but I love him to bits. How about the last one? I love my bed. I wouldn't be able to live without it. So, F, F right? F. It's somewhere I can be lazy and do nothing at all. So, everyone, have you got all the answers for number one? Okay. Yes, sir. So, we'll move to number two now. Read about these treasure positions. Why do you think each person choose that uh, particular thing? Imagine you are the person and give your reason for choosing it. So you have to choose, uh, give the reason for choosing this thing as your treasure position. For example, for number one, my most treasure position is my diary. So what, what will the reason be? Because I have all my secrets written down in yeah. that. So that can be the reason, right? So because uh, all, all of my secrets are written in the book or something like that, right? So you, can, you have to write reasons for each of the things. So number one is for diary, and number two is a photo of a classmate at primary school, and for number three, her hockey trophies, and number four is my mom, okay, bedtime storybook, and five, Notebook and six mobile phone. So have you finished number two? Not yet. Not yet. Okay.
So everyone, have you finished? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How about everyone? How about the rest? Have you finished? Scenario be done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So as the time is up, we will discuss this two tomorrow. So we have two things to discuss tomorrow. The first one is group one and the second one is this exercise. Okay. So is there any question for today's lesson? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. So we'll see you tomorrow. So bye-bye for bye, today. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Goodbye, Chair. Bye-bye.